here, my good buddy Deke Diggerson from RelaxShacks.com bought me this really cool perfection heater. It runs off kerosene, and I'm going to use it to help heat the office in the mornings when it's really cold to get things up to heat. And I'm really looking forward to using this thing and showing you guys how it works and how it could possibly be a good heat source for your tiny home. The inner workings of this heater are really simple and really smart. To open it up, all you do is press this button in and slide it back. And as you can tell, this thing has not been started in a very, very long time. It looks like about a hundred years worth of funk just sitting there. And uh, based on the research I found and did online, this is a Model 530 and it was made about a hundred years ago in, in roughly 1914. So as you can see, this thing has not been started in a long time and it needs a good cleaning. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to replace the, rick, the wick, which goes right here, which I'll show you guys how to do and we'll be able to crank it up. So let's get into it and see how it works. Let's see if we can't loosen things up a little bit. You can see here where someone made a repair to the tank where there was a hole and it kind of reminds you of the days that are long gone where people used to not throw things away but instead they simply repaired it. This is the wick replacement that goes to it. I got it off Amazon for I think eight bucks. As you can see here, there's gears all along the wick, and it goes down into, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a mechanism that turns here that feeds it up and down. The technology to these perfection heaters dates way back to the 1800s where a guy on horse and buggy would travel from town to town with a huge tank of kerosene and help resupply people with their kerosene uh, fuel. And he would actually have these propane, uh, these kerosene heaters um, strapped to the side of his horse and buggy and sell them straight from the horse and buggy to folks. And to me it's just amazing that this thing's a hundred years old and it works it probably hadn't been started up in decades, and I just gave it a good clean job, put a new wick in it, and cranked it right up, and it's working, and it just kind of makes me think about how back then it was always a race to the top to stay in business. Uh, whoever built the best quality product stayed in business, and today it's the exact opposite. It's a race to the bottom. Who builds the cheapest and the crappiest product? And it's just kind of a testament to the way things used to be built, and unfortunately the way things are built today. Whenever you're working with one of these or using one of these to heat your home or tiny house or office or whatever you decide to heat one with, you want to use extreme caution because it is an open flame and you probably shouldn't leave it unattended. Um, and of course use it as your own risk. And through the early 19th, uh, through the early 1900s, literally millions of these things were built and there's a ton of them out there still. Some need more, actually a lot more work than this one. So I was very lucky to, to have Deke buy this for me. Thank you so much, Deke. And, um, but I think it's a great option to, to heat a tiny home with. Uh, you want to make sure you vent your home just a little bit because these kerosene the kerosene does burn very clean, although it does emit some CO2. But I just, I'm amazed at how much heat this thing puts off. It's crazy. I'm sure I could probably put a pan on top and cook from it. But... I just wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's a really cool option. And not only is it, a lot of the kerosene heaters that were made in the 70s and 80s look like crap. They look like a little robot or something. But this one's beautiful. Um, even in the, in, the, in the summer, I'll probably have this thing and put a flower on top of it or something like that in here. It just looks great and it's very nostalgic. So I just want to share this little thing with you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you come across one and decide to use it, send us some photos and so we can share it with others. So thanks for watching. See you on the next video.